Okay, we are going to solder this little joy, and I put together some of these pressed flowers that are just window hangers. Solder those real quick, too. But, sorry I did not film the cutting of this, which would have been kind of fun because it was fun to cut. Um... The only piece that was a pain was this teeny tiny one in here. And actually, I'm going to use this pattern as inspiration for a fuse glass piece uh, after this. So, let me wipe off my soldering iron. Oh, where's my solder? On the other table. Just a second. <laughs> I had been soldering really big stuff in which I have to stand up and oh now we're going back to little stuff where I can sit down for a minute so we're just gonna tack this puppy together so I can get him off the paper I uh, ooh. note to self make sure your solder is not attached to your piece I, um, I cut glass pretty good, but some of my pieces, I end up with really big gaps, and I'm not sure, I think it's my grinding skills, because sometimes I get a little bit carried away grinding, and I do compare it back to the pattern, but it's really kind of odd. Sometimes it will be looking like it's going to be a perfect fit. I gently grind the edges, not very much at all, and then I get a gap like that, and um, I'm not sure if you can see that. I can, maybe I can zoom in on it for you. I do it with my hand without a glove. Try not to wiggle the camera too much, but let's see. Yeah, see how there's a gap here? When I did this, it was like perfectly put together before I, I foiled it, you know, while I was doing the grinding. And somehow I end up with that gap. So, I'm still working on figuring it out. I know that it's not a huge gap that's going to cause any problem for the integrity of the piece, you know, to, to stay together. But... It kind of just annoys me in a way because now I'm going to have a slightly thicker solder line there. And I mean, it's not going to be horribly obvious. What's up with my iron here? Getting a whole bunch of stuff up my... And I just tinned it the other day, so it shouldn't need tinning again. I'll tell you, there are some mysteries sometimes. Like, there's another gap there. And I know that wasn't there when I did my initial cutting. Let's see, where else do I need to attach? Before I pull my pins... And I'm almost out of my flux, so I can switch over to the gel flux that I want to try. Sometimes I think they're all the same, and then something comes about and makes me think, nah, this one's better. And I had done a, um, a stained glass yard art that was about 36 inches tall had about 8 inches to be planted in the ground for stability and I think maybe you've seen those pictures on my Instagram or my Facebook page but um, I will go through the setup of how to do that uh, shortly
I find that the, uh, I use brass and the brass rod that I used, I can't get it locally, so I have to order it. Um, and I found so far the best place that I've gotten it from is a place called Online Metals. Um, and when I do it, I will share their link in my video. But, okay. Let's go ahead and get this puppy put together. But, uh, yeah, I can't, I can get like the eighth inch rod, which I've got an idea for that. I, I think I showed on my Instagram. I had made this little Christmas tree out of glass patterns, quarterly uh, pattern, which they're really nice. I mean, you can um, make those and sell them. You just can't mass produce them. So basically, I only sell them to uh, friends or somebody who reaches out to me. I, um, I actually had not had my subscription to them for a while and and just resubscribed and that was just the neatest little Christmas tree and I had uh, glass globs that I had made in the kiln and they were real pretty dichroic and I thought well you know what I'm gonna use these and make this Christmas tree so and then I reached out to um, the artists themselves and they said since it was an article in glass pattern quarterly I needed to reach out to them which I did, and they responded very, very quickly. Um, because they do say on the pattern, you can make it for craft shows um, and, uh, you know, for friends and family. You just cannot mass produce it. And, I mean, I'm, I'm a one person shop, I'm not going to mass produce anything, honestly. Um, and I don't do craft shows so much because I have, uh, well, they're calling it fibromyalgia, but I think they're just saying that because they don't know what else to call it. So I'm not sure, uh, but I've got some issues with being able to haul everything you need to haul to a craft show and just the energy and time and trying to get set up and everything. I did one where they provided the table and all I had to bring was my totes. That wasn't too bad and it was only a six hour show so it wasn't horrible. Um, the weather turned out to be horrible so we really didn't have a great turnout. Uh, and I don't I don't think I sold enough to make it worth my while to do it again. I sold fairly good compared to other people in the area I was in, but I just did not think it was going to be something I would do again just you know, cuz it takes it takes your whole day and I mean, for my whole day, I want to make more than a couple hundred dollars, you know. I did meet some really cool people, which is the fun part of that. I'm doing all this yabbering, and I'm probably going to speed this up since it's not the entire project. So you're probably not going to hear me talking at all. I don't know why I'm holding my iron like that. I normally hold it up like this. See, that's such a prettier bead. I even took my vitamins today and I'm still being a turkey. There's just some days my brain just does not function as well as it should. I'm not that old. However, I did have some pretty strong chemo a few
few years back and they say that can impact memory and I know <laughs> I know I certainly had chemo brain while I was on the chemo um because gosh I couldn't remember anything I had to write everything down and here lately I'm well I mean, not lately. It's been going on for years. I've been having to write everything down. So maybe it did impact me more than I thought. I just figured I had too much going on to remember everything. So while this is not matching up absolutely perfectly the way I thought it was going to from the initial cutting, it's still going together nicely. I think I'm going to put hobby cane around the outside to uh, finish it off. I like to do that with circles because that way um, I'm not fighting with trying to make my circle perfect it kind of helps make my circle perfect <laughs> I don't know why I'm being this fussy with the front right now because when I do the back I always come back to the front because it seems like some of your um Some of your lines end up getting smooshed from doing the back side. So I end up having to clean up anyway. Sorry, I've been quiet for a couple of uh, weeks. My brother and his wife, ouch, are RV people. And, um,. They've been doing it for about two years now. And they were, they came through and I told them I would make the studio when I was building it so that they could park here. And they took me up on it and uh, stayed for, I thought they were staying for a week and they ended up staying two weeks, which is cool. Um, and we had a nice visit, but I didn't do... I did some things, but I didn't do anything that I would normally be doing, and so I didn't make videos, and I did some, some work, but most of it was just filling orders, um, not designing anything. That's going to be one thing I have coming up, let's flip her over, is, uh, I have a window, an old antique window from a, a neighbor who she has commissioned me to make that into a hanging art piece for her sister. Um, and we're working through the design right now. She knows she wants bluebirds, cardinals, and some flowers, but we don't have any specifics yet. So, I'm going to have to um, do a little sketching. Try and get it put together. And then she'll come over and pick colors. I like when the commission is local because then they can come pick the colors. Um... I've had some where it's on the internet type of thing and you end up taking pictures of the glass you want to use and um, sometimes it shows up the same color to them and sometimes the old internet changes it. Well, I'm sure it's not the internet, it's their, their modem versus my modem and the actual and 
I think everybody knows that you might see a different color than what it actually is based off of your monitor. I said modem before, didn't I? See, there's my brain being weird again. Um, and I mean, you can calibrate your monitor, and I can calibrate my monitor, but that doesn't mean that the, the color's still going to be accurate. Just going to tin there because I'm pretty sure it's going to get covered with the hobby came. may end up being one of those shorts. What do y'all think about those shorts? Do you like them? I like them. Um, I like watching them. Sometimes it just sparks an idea without having to invest a lot of sitting down and watching the video time. But other times it's like, I want to see more. Sorry about the road noise. I got the window open because I didn't want to turn on my fan and the temperature is getting to the point where I can't open the giant door because I let all the heat out of here. And there's no point in having a heater in here if you're going to open the door and let it all out. catching a nice cool breeze from the window so This one is sucking up some solder, isn't it? And that's not even a gap. That was a gap, so I kind of expected it to suck up some solder. Sometimes I wonder if it doesn't make more sense to um, tin the front before you do the back. Because see, I think part of my issue is that I've got the bead on the front, which is lifting up the back some. That's why I always end up flipping it back over and fixing things that go through. make messes on the other side. Um, 
All right, I think we got it covered. Let's see what the other side looks like now. Oh, it didn't make too much of a mess at all. Just trying to make me feel bad. Actually, I don't feel bad at all about that. I'm kind of happy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all this talking is going to end up getting covered with music, and this is going to become a short. We'll see when I edit it, but more than likely it will be a short.